Hello everyone, my name is Revant and today I am going to demonstrate how to execute k-means clustering on Spark ML library using the AWS. Let's get started with this. Download and install IntelliJ IDE. You can do this using Eclipse also but I am using IntelliJ. Use this link to download IntelliJ. Once you have downloaded, open the IDE. To create a new project, you can go to File, New, and click on the project. We are using this Maven project, so click on Maven and go to the next menu. Give a project name. Since we are doing a Maven project, we have to assign a group ID and Articraft ID. For the group ID, I am giving it as clusterings and articraft ID as for spark action so I've already done this so created the project already so once you have created the project you will get a project folder in the left dashboard where you will find this folder as Java. Click on that and rename into Scala. Then you will find a new new file created within this Scala folder. Also we have to rename the Java folder within the test. So once we have assigned the group ID and Articraft ID, you will get the new project and then we will rename source main java folder into src main scala and similarly we will also rename the java folder in test directory as scala and then we will rename this file as k-means driver once we have done that let's go to the assignment description so we will use this sample code given in the assignment description so copy this entire code and just paste it in this Scala driver file after that we are going to update the POM file so copy the dependencies these dependencies should be copied and we paste it into this pom.xml file in the root folder. Once you have done that, you can open this dashboard and click on install. So you can find this information saying build success, then you will be able to see a target folder generated and you will find the jar file which we require so we have done this building the jar file so once the jar file is generated we will upload this jar file to AWS S3 bucket let's open the AWS so I have already logged in to the AWS so um, I've created a bucket let's say this give a unique name to the bucket I've assigned one let's copy this jar file upload it I'll just drag this and upload this file let's go back to the bucket yes so I've already uploaded the card data so you can go to this zip file you can download the zip file so I've done that and already uploaded these files into the S3 bucket once we are done with this we are good to create the EMR cluster and get started with this so actually using a previous cluster so you can set up this EMR cluster with Hadoop and Spark
so this is you have to also create a class key pair let's wait out for this cluster to start we have the AWS server up and running we have to copy the spark jar from S3 bucket to the master node yes we have the cluster running and let's copy this into the let's copy the jar into the master node I've actually compiled this command so I have already connected to the SSH. We want we can reconnect. So we will use this SSH command to connect to the cluster. Now that we have connected, we will copy the jar file from S3 bucket to the cluster. You will find this download on your terminal so once we have the jar ready we are good to submit the spark job for that we will use this command spark submit we will give the path to the jar file and the input data and the output Path. Let's. I've already renamed the bucket name to what's my bucket name. So you can use the bucket that you have. So the spark job is now running and we will get the output into the folder that we have assigned. Let's go to the S3 bucket. Let's hit refresh and you can see the k-means output. We can download this and that's all for this demonstration video. Thank you.